border has always been a problem you know, with, with San Diego. You know, one of those big problems is not just the people coming across, but it's the drugs and the, the, the sex traffic and the human smuggling that happens. And that's always been a problem, but never to these degrees that we're seeing it right now. I mean, this is exponentially more. And it's because we're not trying anymore. All my life, the federal government it was at least making an attempt to keep the border closed and to, to keep people from coming over, especially bad actors and, and people in the cartels and the gangs and people who we knew really wanted to hurt us. Now it's the gates are wide open. Legal immigrants in La Jolla. Landing on Bluebird Beach. Migrants are waiting out at Hook in the Hot Springs. Hundreds of migrants have been dropped off here in San Diego. San Diego sector of the border. The border situation has really impacted all of San Diego County. Since they started doing street releases, we've seen over 200,000 people dropped off in the streets of uh, San Diego. And that's a pretty significant impact. We're seeing about 1,000 a day. Most of the migrants that come into San Diego County, about 90% or more of them actually leave. They go to some other place in the country, they got cousins or brothers or sisters or some family somewhere. Some of the people I've talked to that just coming across the border when I've gone to the actual holes in the fence where they come through and, and talking to some of the people, a lot of them are going to the East Coast and, and um, to someplace else. So a lot of them leave, but there's a lot we don't know. Currently, the Border Patrol is still just dropping off migrants several hundred a day. A lot of them end up at our airport. So unfortunately, San Diego Airport now has become the de facto migrant uh, shelter uh, where they sleep there. Uh, hopefully, they, you know, most of them get on a flight uh, to someplace else, but a lot of them don't have money uh, and aren't able to facilitate that. The mayor of New York, mayor of Chicago and Denver uh, complaining about you know Governor Abbott sending migrants to their to their communities. Well, we have the federal government doing that directly to us. They're the ones bringing and just dropping off the migrants. And I don't blame the Border Patrol agents. They're they're great people. They're trying to do their job, and unfortunately, their hands are tied. We witness that they people are just able to walk across. Border Patrol agents standing by. It used to be in previous administrations uh, in Washington D.C. when. People would come across the country illegally, they would try to avoid Border Patrol. Now they run to the Border Patrol. They know all the right questions to ask, statements to make, to, to ask for asylum. And what we see being dropped off here in San Diego County um, are mostly about 80% males that are being dropped off at the uh, transit center here in San Diego County. Most ages between like 18 to 35. And it's kind of frightening when you see 80% males from around the world, you know, coming from countries that are not our friends in some cases and being dropped off here. There, there's, there's a big concern by residents and, and politicians like myself is you know, like, okay, how do we keep our citizens safe here in San Diego County? We have embassies all over the world where people can go and apply for visas and, and, and for, you know, a passage into the United States. And, and, but they don't do that. Why would they do that if they can pay somebody $5,000 and come, come right across our border and come to the head of the line? If we would enforce our own laws of requiring people to go through the embassies in their countries and, and going through that process, it'd be a much more dignified way for immigrants to come to our country. Right now, what we're allowing is, is, is a very undignified, unhum, inhumane process where people have to come over a fence and, and we have people falling over fences and coming over the, a 30-foot fence and to break in a leg or two and go into our hospitals. We've got people coming through the water or under through a river. It, it, we could do it in a much more dignified, humane manner, but it's us not enforcing our laws that's making and allowing this to happen. We blame other people in other countries. It's us. It's our laws. And so we should enforce our laws and have a legal, dignified immigration process, and we're not doing it. If 
you have a fence around your house, if you lock your door at night, then we don't need to explain to you the value of having a border fence. It's not rocket science. It's okay to let immigrants in, but do it legally. It's not about not coming into the country, it's maybe about coming into to the country the right way. Open the doors and let anybody flood in doesn't work. We can't afford that. I think pretty soon the system is going to be overwhelmed to the point where there's not going to be enough money to send people everywhere they want to go. Then they're going to be on our streets. They're going to find that all the homeless shelters are full. All the hospitals are full. All the schools are full. Everything is already full because of the migrants and the homeless people that have flocked to California in the past couple of years. So there's very little in the way of safety net in California. Well, unfortunately, there's no, there's no end in sight. We absolutely don't see any change this is a new norm. You know, unfortunately, someday we're going to get a rude awakening. Some, some catastrophe, something's going to happen that involves people coming across the border that mean us harm and then, and then being able to pull that, pull something off. And, and uh, then maybe we'll have that wake up call. But I'm, I'm hoping it comes sooner than like, rather than later.